dude, there's there's thousands, there's hundreds of Bibles and thousands of Christian religions. Like, okay, does it not matter, or does it? Because they're, they're even in Ireland today, they're going to be killing each other. So, what are you proposing? That's what I'm to deal with division, or. Because you raised quite a few points. You talked yeah, yeah, about yeah. like so, so Zionism, me, so Christian to, Zionism, and then... Yeah, let me narrow it down to... Everybody's wrong, and everybody's wrong. So there's some things that are correct. I've been pointing out things that are correct, and then I want to say, and yet there's a lot of things that are wrong, that, that can't make sense. About the Bible? About about Christian practices? Well, what, what is it exactly? Well, yeah, I can take any point. Like the Bible going, okay, to say it's the word of God, I go, okay, okay, except for why are there so many translations of the Bible? Because there are many languages. No, no, I mean in English. There's, there's even, hundreds in English. Even in English, there are many dialects. For, for, uh, for, for, for example, and that's why there's different religions. Right, so uh, ultimately, the sects in Christianity come from more than just biblical translations. Right. The impetus of them actually is theological disagreements. Okay. Anything from like the, the schism in 1054 all the way down to the Reformation movements, right? That, 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 that then give us all the Protestant sects that we have, okay, right? So can I stop you? In 1054, you said there's a schism. A schism. Yes. Okay, but that's that's in the Catholic Church. Uh, it, between the East and the West. Right. But all church. there is is a Vulgate. There's a, there's there's a couple of versions. The Bible is very very narrow and very narrowly con controlled by two different forms of Catholic. But there's you're Eastern forgetting. But don't forget about the Oriental Church, for example, from the fourth century. You have the churches in Ethiopia and in Syria and North okay. Africa, for example. So ultimately. I would take the position that it doesn't matter if we are dividing based on non-problematic theological positions. Like for example, if you take that the, son, that the Spirit comes from the Son alone or from the Son and the Father, I don't think you're going to go to hell for that. If you find justification from that from biblical text and tradition, then good for you. But I don't think it's good enough to divide over. So when you talk about why do we have all these different translations, even in English, of the Bible, English is an evolving language. There are some languages that are a bit more static, like Icelandic. Uh, people today can read the same Icelandic that they could read a thousand years ago. Certain languages that are in isolation tend to last a lot longer. I'm with you, but there English are, evolves. But there are different. What I'm saying is that doesn't hold up when you look okay. at the Baptists. Uh, do any of these? Do any of them deny that Jesus Christ was a real person who existed? And who lived among them, died, taught them, and Jesus Christ was a real person who existed and who lived and died, taught us things, no. and resurrected. No. So, as you're aware as a Christian, that is the absolute fundamental. That if we disagree on, then we are out of salvation. The, the, what is that? Jesus Christ was a real person. Who was so that's your, you're starting a new religion because that's so? definitely because because each Christian religion will say no 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 you got to believe like we have that's why they have their own thing no uh, or, or sectarianism is certainly a problem right but I'm asking you are there any of these actual Christian sects that would deny the fundamentals of the faith no okay well, so I mean well, 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 there, there, there are there are heretical sects. That might, like JWs, for example, or Mormons, absolutely. But we, we have enough evidence to tell them that what they believe is, is like an, an innovative new idea and it's wrong according to tradition. Okay, well, but the tradition that you're talking about is brand new in the last few hundred years. No, it goes all the way back from the first century. All no. the way back from Paul and, and, what, what and you, the... No, because in the first century there was, there was Johannian church, Pauline... I mean, Paul was arguing with Peter in Acts. But they came to a conclusion in Acts 15. They, again, human beings are allowed to argue, right? Right, right? But according to our understanding, these apostles had the Spirit with them who was guiding them and teaching them progressively throughout their lives. If you want to see an example of people who were left behind by their leader and didn't have the spirit with them, look at the early Muslims. Began to fight and kill each other the instant Muhammad died. I got you. Have you seen the website Learn of Christ? Sorry? There's a website called Learn of Christ. Okay, I haven't seen it. Have you, if, if anyone wants to see it, it, okay. it, it's a video series. It's just a little video series. Okay. Through, and, it, and it gives... It gives this explanation slash argument of what I'm talking about. Okay. In, for example, Yeshu, Jesus, the yes. Savior, goes to his cousin John to do what? Get baptized. Yes. 
So is that is that something that's that? I mean, when 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 God Himself has to go get baptized yep. from John, you have to be baptized. Yep. That would be it. Yep. What kind? Sprinkling in the water. I mean. Oh, you're, so you're talking about okay. So now there's different traditions in, in how this is done, right? But well, fundamentally, our God is not an extremely legalistic God who's going to make it difficult for you to, to get baptized and attain salvation. It doesn't matter if you're doing the full immersion or the sprinkling. As long as you're doing the practice that results in the exact same outcome, the then you're okay. The result is that then you then receive the Spirit within you and you, be, you begin the salvation process where throughout your entire life, God works in you to align your will with His will okay, so and then have the you do as Christ What are the fruits of that Spirit? Like, the, 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 get that? Huh? Can, a Muslim get, the, for a Muslim to get that, they need to be baptized and then proclaim that Christ is their Lord and Savior. If they can't do that, then they can't get those So, so let's stop. Let's stop. I mean, I, yeah. when you say, anybody here a Muslim? You Muslim? Okay, so he's a Muslim. Okay. So he has to say the words, Christ is my Lord and Savior. Well, he can't, he can't just say the words. He has to say it with conviction. Well, I know, but now he's going to look at me and say, bro, there was nobody named Christ. Christ no, is an he, English he, he, he word. He wouldn't say that. He wouldn't for, say that. He would, well, no, he would say that's an English word for a Greek word, Christos, right? I mean, which is from a, a uh, then a Hebrew word that means uh, yeah, sure. Messiah. Right. Yeah. Well, right. So I mean, okay. so that's what I'm saying. Can we change the letters? Can we change the words? It, or do we, does he Christ? Have to say Jesus? Okay. Can he say Christ is can not? Can he say Isa? Christ is. Isa's in the Quran. Okay, right? Christ so, is not that, that legalistic, right? And from my, are you saying he is? Or is he, he is not that legalistic, okay. right? Because he's the fulfillment of the law. So I'm sure you're aware. In the Old Testament, right, the Jews have the Ten Commandments, and then the additional 613, all in an effort to help them become perfect, so that they can attain salvation. Okay. So what in Christ? Could they do it back then? They couldn't do it perfectly. No. But see, that that's where the fair, where I go. Okay. Right. So if he's not there, and if was it Jesus who was talking to Moses yes. on the mountain? Yes. Okay. So Isa talks to Moses on the map yep. and gives him a religion, and he says, "Well, he gives him commands, right? Okay, so about how they how how these people, who he previously promised Abraham, will become a light to the Gentiles, should operate none of the out of oppression and in the land that God has given them." Okay. So you and I are probably going to agree on Abraham. I, I, I don't disagree with him. I'm just okay. trying to put pieces so that I'm not. Okay gaslighting it so I, so I don't have to say hey don't look at this don't look look at it this way I'm like all right because you have these powerful books and these people who believe in it but if i talk to my friends in islam they're going to say jesus is a great prophet right there okay God and made two yes, people. Yes, he made he is. Adam and he made Esau. Okay. Right? Yeah, okay. So though, so in every religion, there are semblances of truth. Sure. Yes, Big he is a powerful prophet. Yes, his body was made in the exact same way that Adam's body was made. Yes, sure. They are both like beings that are composed of parts. Sure thing. However, they are then missing out on the portion of Christ that will actually have them attain salvation where they are not willing to submit themselves to him and instead want to submit themselves to Muhammad, okay, who is a fallible man who can't I, grant salvation. I, I, again, that's where they go, Hickman. Yes. Because they've missed it coming from there because my thing is the Hadith. How do you how do you accept that but not the books that are expressly spoken about in the Quran? So yes. It expressly talks about the people of the book, the gospel, the Christian, and it doesn't say unbelievers. The, the it says thing, I did this. The God thing says about, we did this. The right? thing that I find about like like at least Muslims in the West is that essentially it's more important about what they are taught versus what the Quran says. What I the Quran agree. says is second, secondly but important see, than what they're taught. I agree, but I but here's my problem. I see Jews and Christians like that too. Okay. You know, I believe in Absolutely. Jesus. Absolutely. And I'm like, and you all got creeds, you all got stuff that's right. so damn important, but not killing each other should be like a big thing. Like, so, talk about it, but don't kill each other. Don't forget that fundamentally, we are in a world that it's fallen. It's been that way since the fall of man. Yeah. So we will never attain that perfection that you will get in the salvation process here on earth. That salvation only ever actually comes, or sorry, profession comes. But that's not what Jesus said. He said you could do it. Not on earth. No, on earth. That was the big, that was the Sermon no, on the Mount, no, right? He no. says, do this, do he, this. No, do, do these things, right? But no one can do them perfectly all the time. In the resurrection is when we will be like Christ, when we will be perfect, but well, sure, not now. For sure. so, so, so we will carry on arguing, carry on fighting, carry on killing well, each other. I think we can have a good discussion. For I as long, no, fighting, no, right? no, 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 not, not the two of us, right. but 
humanity as a whole will carry on committing these activities that go against the will of God for as long as they continue to deny Him His place in their lives. Okay, but, but does it go against the will of God? I'm going to go back to my question. If I have a Muslim friend or a Jewish friend, will you do the two? Okay, if I, I'll be the Jew. A Muslim, I got a Christian, a Jew, a Muslim, a Muslim, a Jew, and I say, look, can you get along with Abraham? I mean, of the Abrahamic religions, you ought to be able to say, look, Abraham wasn't a Christian, because that was 2,000 years later. Well, that the Bible says the opposite. What's that? The Bible says the opposite. Galatians 3.8. Okay. Abraham received the gospel and was glad. Okay. What gospel? That's what the I'm gospel saying, of Christ. The Christians don't even agree on the gospel. That's why there's so many churches. No, I don't think any Christian has a, Which Christian doesn't agree on the gospel being the well, life, was, death, and resurrection of Christ? Well, again, that's not the gospel. That's it a, is the gospel. That's a, that's a nut history. If that were the case, then, then we wouldn't have... I mean, Christianity's got a thousand years of ugly wars, right? I mean, okay, they, sure. And, so, and these so are let's people... Not, let's not do it. So what my friends do and say that wasn't true. No, so again... Even people, this is a problem that you have in, in any religion, but in Christianity, let's zero in on no. them. People can profess something, but if they're not acting based upon Agreed. what they profess, then it's just simply saying words and they have no real conviction. So in our history, in our 2000 year history, we have had periods of peace and periods of war, as did the Jews, who apparently salvation is meant to come from. Right? According according to the scripture. Yeah, I mean, right? that's that's all. So this happens because we are in a world where people have the ability to either follow God or not follow God. Being a Christian will not mean that you never have difficulty in your life. But it depends upon how stringent you are in your belief in Christ explains how you will handle these challenges. Some people who are less stringent in their work with Christ might resort to humanly things. War, sure, espionage, sure, sure. whatever the case may be. With but said, those but who are more pious... Says, in that day, you'll say, Lord, Lord, we did this, we did that, we yep. did all these miracles. Exactly. And he'll go, you didn't know. Because you didn't do the fundamentals. Well, he yeah. says, you, you didn't know. So even someone who says, I believe in Christ, and does miracles, right. he goes, sorry. That's not sorry, enough. Don't, don't it's not enough to, to profess. So what I'm saying is that yep. you can look at non-violent movements. Okay. You say, look, if, if I were a Muslim, I would come at you and go, here's, here's the problem. Your whole religion is started by a Roman. Constantine took it. They put you guys it's, it's in the room. Accurate. Okay. No, no. I mean, it, it went to Roman Catholic and then went into the Eastern. Well, Constant, I mean, so, but there was no religion outside of Christian religion. It was, it was Noah Christian. Huh? Noah Christian. Noah, Noah didn't receive, receive the gospel. But, uh, well, so Noah didn't receive the gospel. In, Noah didn't receive the gospel in, in his time, right? But likely when Christ died and then proclaimed the gospel to those who were in Sheol, Noah might have received it then as well. Okay, but hold on, hold on. Noah's a great prophet. Yep. He was so great that he that he saved yep. life. Yes, yes. And so you're saying... Was he a Christian? What? You didn't understand the mission that, that uh, uh, 2,000 years later that, that God would come to earth? From, our on, I, from, I, I, from I the revelations did. that we have of Noah, right? in the Old Testament. It doesn't appear that he was privy to the gospel. The first person to be told about the gospel, it appears, was Abraham. Okay, do you believe in the Old Testament? Sure. Okay, so God's talking to Noah. Yes. Well, strictly, Enough to say, build a big ass boat okay. and put animals on it, okay. and yet he, he didn't... Share the gospel with him. It doesn't it's, appear it, that that... If, you, if you're gonna, like, I don't know about you, but I don't talk to God. If okay. you talk to... If, if no one's talking to God, we gotta assume he's right. He's a, he's a greater so, prophet than you. What so I would you're say, a I'm not. I don't okay, know. You it's, get what a, I'm it's a bit fallacious, right, to say, oh, if God talks to you, then He probably should tell you this particular thing. So when we look at God, no, I'm we, just saying it would make sense to me. You okay. can say He's not, but well, I'm gonna say, so un God understand two things. Noah, Abraham. Why? Abraham, Noah, okay. all those guys. All right. God, God talked to them, yes. but didn't give them the plan about, okay. about Yeshua. I understand two things, right? The first thing would be that when we have people like Noah and Abraham, right, we take the idea that God 
is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and he's eternal. But we also take the idea that God can see the beginning from the end, right? That God has, yeah, he can, he can. That God has all knowledge in the universe, right? Now, we can also take the idea from 1st first, first John 5-7, that God is love. So the very essence of God is love. So we have an eternal, all-knowing, loving God at the essence. And as a loving God, he was even so loving that he gave his own son for us. So, because we, because we have a God who is like that, we can assume that every action God takes where he directly intervenes in our reality is all driving towards an ultimate purpose that God sees for us. So, if God saw it fit to tell Noah the gospel, but somehow it was not revealed in the writings of Moses, then that is fine. But it appears that from what we've been revealed, that the gospel was first told to Abraham, that through his seed, the whole world will be blessed. Yeah, that's, the, that's what I'm getting to. So you got Abraham, the whole world and his seed is going to be through the whole planet. Which means you, you know, we're all sons of Abraham. Well, it depends. To be a son of Abraham now, you have to be grafted into the, the, the vine of Abraham. And you can only do that through Christ. So the Muslims can't do that. How do you do that? Through Christ. So, but, but Muslims believe in Christ. They don't they believe, believe in no, they, they don't believe in Christ. They believe in, in a half-baked Christ. Okay, but, but, uh, Good. This is where I got to stop and go. Okay. Yep. I got to say, they're going to say you believe in a half baked Christ. No, the, the they can't say, say that. If that's what it is, mm -hmm. how many Christians believe that, that Esau was a Jew? That, that they, they all have to. That's, 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 a, that's a factual statement. Okay, I just went from Rome this last spring and yeah. had priests in the Vatican going, Telling no, you that. they said you're a Jew. I'm like, no, 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 no. It's in the Gospels. So these are Catholic. Sorry, sorry. What, what, what happened? What happened? Sorry. Home. Wait, wait, Adam, wait. don't call me a Jew. And I'm like, why they call you a Jew? Jew? Why? Because I said that Esau was a Jew. That Jesus was a Jew. Just, just like, c clarify, what? clarify that he was an ethnic Jew, for example. Yes. Okay. But, well, that's my that's a, that's my okay. point. Because. I don't think the Muslims of today are anything like the Muslims of, 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 of Muhammad's time. No, they're, they're, the they're Christians different. of today aren't anything like Christians. See, without the Gutenberg Press, without the Bible that, that, that we all enjoy in, in English or whatever, until, until Martin Luther, and that's only 500 years ago, and everything was either Roman Catholic or Eastern Orthodox. That's everything. not true. That's all there That's was. not true. Uh, okay, that Ethiopian is not true. Stuff. You, you have the Ethiopian church. You have the Syriac okay, church. So we've got good. That's the, making the my church point. everywhere That's on what, the planet. That's making my point, and they're radically different. They're radically different. No, they're and they, still. And they've warred with each other in Ireland. Well, this is where. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Don't, don't, don't you're, go you're, you're mixing a range of things together, okay. right? So the Catholic churches never warred with the uh, with the Syriac churches. That is not true, when they go, when right? They go to yes, there were conflicts potentially in the Reformation era between Protestants and Catholics. And yes, right? in some not parts of the world. That, that's what I'm saying. Don't. And yes, other people who, who gaslight me and say this I'm doesn't not, happen. It's I'm like, not nah, gaslighting. You. I'm, not, I'm not gaslighting you. Yes, in some parts of the world, like for example in Ireland, these would escalate at times into bloody conflicts. Yes, yes. sure. So but the, that is not. But isn't that what I'm saying? Is if you're going to go there, yes, and you look at violent Islam, okay. then you go and you go Islam, bunch of violent nuts. In America, okay. you come over here and there's very nice. Muslims who okay. aren't violent, and if you had done this a thousand years ago, Christians were monsters. Like they're they're they're, they're doing. Crusades. I don't they're, agree with you. Okay. Well, I don't agree like, with you. Okay. So you mentioned two things. Okay. So Muslims are not different from any other human being who chooses to make a god for themselves, as opposed to following the true god of the world. Right? There are Satanists that are very peaceful and nice and give to charity. I'm with you. I'm with you. But that are, doesn't but mean Christians anything. Other right? Okay, wait, you so is, that's your second that's point. A, that's a gas yeah. That's your second point. With each other that was your second point. I am not saying that the issue with Muslims is that they fight each other. All human beings do that. Right. That's okay? What I'm that's not my issue with Muslims. I'm with you. So the issue with them okay. is simply the same issue with anybody who chooses to reject God. That's all. I don't hate them. I'm not called to do that. But then when you say 1,000 years ago, Christians were monsters, and then you mention the Crusades, first of all, the Crusades were not Christians being monsters. They weren't going to war for the sake of going to war. 
it was a response to almost 400 years of Islamic expansion and aggression. They moved into Christian lands and started to conquer them and then subject the citizens to, to jizya attacks and various forms of pogroms and persecution. And then they moved in as far as into Europe until they were beating in France in, in, uh, around uh, the 700s. Everybody, including Christians, has the right to militarily defend themselves if they are being invaded. So when they went on the Crusades, I cannot vouch for every action that was taken on the Crusades because in total there were about nine of them and the majority of them actually involved the Western Christian Empire fighting in the East versus them fighting the Islamic threats. Okay, okay, so, I'm agree with this, but I'm going to say, why are you here? Like, if, if you can't get Muslims and yeah. Christians, to, like, what I'm here to bring them to Christ only. No, but if you just I'm, yell, I'm not here to make peace. I'm here to bring them to Christ. Okay, okay. Because Christ himself says he did not come to bring peace. By yelling them? No. I, mean, I, I, I study the Bible, first of all, because I need to be aware that I'm preaching the correct thing and not the wrong thing. Okay. Yeah, because Muslims are... I think you are. I think you're doing... I, I think you're doing that. You. And I'm like, I, I don't disagree with that. That's step one. Okay. Because Muslims, for example, are the majority of those who I talk to here, I then read their sources. I want to know what they believe and what are the stumbling blocks that stop them from accepting Christ. Yeah, I've been doing that for weeks. I, underst I understand the, the, the core concept of their belief, at least for the Sunni... For the Sunni tradition, at least, and then I, I talk to them about it, and then because all human beings who are uh, who are um, neurologically abled have rationality, they can for themselves see if what I am saying is true or if it's completely false. Now, most of them will ignore me, but as Christ talked about in Luke, right, the gospel is like when a sower is sowing seed and just simply uh, um, tossing them haphazardly. So it's, it's your duty Some as, lands, a, as, as a Christian to, to, to tell them and okay. then God can do the work in them, right? Okay. But when I tell them these things, my approach has to be one where I at least come across as somebody who understands their core concepts yeah, that's what I'm trying to and do. then challenges so them. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a... I, I've been listening through here. You're saying and not yelling at me, so I'm talking to you. Yeah. So I'm like, everybody, if everybody's right and everybody can stay there, I'm going, no, 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 I got the answer. And then everything becomes a talking point where it's right. like, oh, I know this one. And they go back and say, no, 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 just listen. Like, from, from an outsider who's going, look, I'm just going to actually step back. I mean, it, it feels like everybody's going, look, one is black. Go like this. Go like this. Go like this. It's like, no, 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 no. The gloves are black, but London's a big place. Okay. So if I'm going to listen through, then I'm going to really try to understand and go, if you had your ideal way, you would say to sorry, what's the next well, Aziz. Aziz, yeah. Aziz. If, if you're going to talk to Aziz, you go, look, you can have an increase of the spirit, the, the rule of Allah. If you would get baptized because that's the mechanism by which Christians and, and again for the Christian thing you have to take the baggage and I don't think you want it and I don't want it. What Even baggage sorry? The baggage of, of 1500 years of Catholic of Catholic Christianity. I, I, that, I'm that's not a, going that's to, some messed up stuff. I'm not going to disregard any of the good or bad that has come out of the tradition. Good, but you but, have to disregard the bad and keep the good. That's what well, I'm well, well, disregarding in what sense? I'm not going to deny it happens. Okay. But I'm not going to follow it. But you're not. Yeah, but you're not going to say that's Christian any more than he's going to say. You know that. For example, is, 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 that's so. For example, what the, the Crusades? For example, I will not disavow the Crusades because likely they saved the world. Without them, a proliferation of, of Islam would have gone all across Europe and over to the Americas, no, they, they, and they, they that's not what you back, want. They turn back. Okay, well, that's not what you want. That, that's a because, no, that's a because war. That's, the, that's the problem. A, so the, the I have studied, but it's not. It's irrelevant. Well, well look at look at what we have today, right? When you have like things like the idea, for example, about like the, the UN Convention or the Enlightenment period, right? Yeah. Or, or the the tradition of, of, of the of the Magna Carta uh, and the understanding that human beings have an inherent value that doesn't come out of Islam, it comes out of Christianity. What does? Oh, the no, idea that human no, beings no, have an no, inherent no, no. value. Ancient, ancient Islam. When you went the the, the ancient. Uh, well, let's see. Let, let me go to the let me go to the very first conquest when you're going back over to the to the what we were just talking about. 
these guys, are you Muslim? I'm Christian. I'm Christian. Are you Muslim? No Muslim. So, so I need a, I got a Christian, you know? Okay. The Muslims are going to actually track that to, they brought the violin, the guitar, uh, that doesn't even, mean even, anything. Even distillation. That doesn't mean anything. The enlightenment. This place was in the dark ages. The Christianity it, was dark. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It was in the dark ages for one reason only. Do you know what that is? Islamic piracy. Because they controlled the majority of the waterways going into Africa, for example, because of Islamic Spain, they are the reason why Europe was incapable of trading at mass with the rest of the world. Everything from 711 to 1492. And the Dark Ages, as you're aware, began with the fall of Rome in, in, in 440 AD, right? You can't blame the Muslims for all the Dark No, no, no. They, they, listen, 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 listen to this very, very easily. When did the Dark Ages end? It coincides the year that Muslims were expelled from Spain because now Europeans were free of Barbary slavery and Barbary piracy. And now they could go around the world and then collect spices and retail 1492. So 1492 yes. was Columbus sailing the ocean. Okay, so for 15, you're, you're making my case for almost a, a millennium. 700 now, years. Why would it be? Because of they Islam. Have? Yeah, but what did they have? Huh? It, it, strong, strong, strong so, military. So, gonna, so this is me being neutral. The Christians are going to run into the same stuff the Jews did, which is and what's why, why, why is the temple? This, why is Christianity? So if it starts out so robust. We've why got, are they knuckled down by Islam? Why is Islam kicking their ass? In, in what sense? Well, in well, what you sense? were just telling me. Huh? Well, you were just telling me. Okay, okay. In okay. Dark ages. I'm okay, just, okay, okay. I'm just following right. what you said. Okay, okay. So. In every time period, we are limited with the technology that we have. Okay. Would you agree with this? Between 700 and 11 and 1492, the navies of places were very important, right? Wooden boats were very important. Right. But I thought you just told me that all of Europe was in dark ages because, because of the Because of that, exactly. Why were the Muslims allowed to keep them down for 700 years if the enlightened Christians... It's like The Jews Enlightenment saying, came we're, after, after they were expelled. Okay, let me back you up. Why then, why did, why did the Jewish nation be, were destroyed by Titus? AD said, when the Jews were destroyed. The, the temple destroyed. being destroyed. Yeah. I mean, again, they were on their ministry of the occupation at the time. Right? Know, as so, a Christian, and, what's and the obvious This answer? was also foretold already by, by, by Christ. Right? What, what's that? I know. This was already foretold by Christ, right? But actually, what you find is, remember when I told you that everything that God does or, in, or intervenes directly in our, in our like reality is for a grander purpose. Yeah. With that, what you then have is a spreading out of the other Jewish people, right? Including Jewish Christians. I, and that he, is how you he get does everything for good. He does everything fact, for good. Exactly. But you go, he'll take everything and turn it good. But exactly. he's not going to take good people. God doesn't destroy good people. That's God what, doesn't that's destroy good great, people, that's right? Like but the evil one that. will attempt to. For example, with the stoning well, of Stephen. Evil, well, but the evil one does, I agree. And, and the wicked, but what I'm saying is your, your version, which I would agree with, is what happened to the Jews in AD 7 and why? Why? Well, effectively, they were ascending to, I think, stage of revolt against, against the, the oppressive force, right? Now, in the, in the past, in the Old Testament, even you have to admit that whenever the Jews tried to do something like this in the Old Testament, right, they would first have to inquire of the Lord. Send the prophets, send the king to talk to God first. No, but you and I both agree no, what happened. Wait, they killed the Messiah. Wait a I second. Mean, let's be wait a second. Wait a second. Every time that they attempted to go against the larger foe with their own power, they would always lose. Only when they were going with the backing of the Lord did they win. Look at Gideon in Judges. Look at David and, and, and the, and the, and the uh, Midianites. I'm good. Right? But this is a 2,000 Same thing. year punishment. What, what I'm saying huh? is. What I'm saying is why, after all those years, and then the people of Israel, I mean, it gets schizophrenic here, because these are God's people, God's people, God's people. God is, God, God is joint. He actually do you know what that means? as a Jew. Well, I'll agree with what you say. But, what, but you don't have to, but understand what that means by God's people. It doesn't mean that out of every person on the planet, that God only seems to like people from this random part of the world in, in, in the Levant. These are people... 
These are people who are chosen by God to be a light to the Gentiles, who through which the Messiah will come. They? Yes, they were. And when did they stop being? No, they were a light to the Gentiles in that the first ever Christians were yeah. Jews. Well, that's again, that's right? what I'm saying. If and they, they are the ones. Christians, they were Messianic Jews. Well, well, regardless, they were still Jews, and they are the ones who then went around the world. Go read Acts. They went around the world. They went to Rome. They well, went I to agree. Anatolia. I, they I, went to um, Ethiopia and Egypt. And they, they're the ones it's, who... It gets schizophrenic. This is what I'm so? saying. This is what I'm saying. Is if you're going to say God's people, the Jews, God himself comes into civilization through the lineage of the Jews, through David, in Jerusalem, in Bethlehem and Nazareth, mm -hmm. right? We're all agreeing on this. Okay. I'm saying he comes through and then they kill him. Okay. Then what happens? That generation doesn't even die off. Caiaphas, Annas, those guys by 70, so that's in 30. Within 40 right, years, but their kids, they got kids, they got Bar Mitzvah's kids yep. sitting among them yep. who saw the complete destruction of their people. Yep. Whereas Caiaphas, Annas, but it wasn't they complete. died, as old, they it wasn't died as old men. It they wasn't a complete destruction, though. Uh, that's well, the problem. Not, and, not, and don't forget yeah, that I'm with you. In, I'm just, in that I'm same time, in that same time, there were also Jews in Damascus and in Yemen sure. and in other parts of, sure, sure, of sure, the sure, sure. Uh, Roman I, Empire. I, again, I don't ever disagree with what you're saying. I'm mm -hmm. trying to tell. I'm trying to say that it's a punishment. Watch, watch you the can concept. have that view. Watch the concept. Because even the high priest say, "Let his blood be on on our, on our generation and on our grand." Yeah, they, they, you can see that view. Again, absolutely. I don't look at the Jews now. Aren't even Jew, I don't even. What well, it depends on which Jew you're, you're talking about. There's there's Sephardic Jews, there's Ashkenazi Jews, then there's Talmudic Jews, there's Orthodox Jews, there's Reformist Jews, there's Messianic Jews, there's a lot of Jews. Right. So it depends. So so what I'm saying is, as a why did those people at that moment who had a temple, a legitimate temple, yep. that, that Christ said in my father's house, yep. even if it's oh, a yeah, metaphor, yeah. Yeah. even yep. if it's a metaphor, yep. says, hey. And I think it was a man because Herod built it. And so it's like he was, because the people considered it to be the house of God, he referenced it as the house of God. Okay. But even that's destroyed within this one generation because after they killed Because Christ him. is now our new temple, remember? Well, that's fine. But that, I'm that, saying, that's why. But I'm saying There's no longer a need happens, for, for a building. But then within the same period, so then that, that sure, look, God takes anything and twists it for good. But all of those guys were killed. Peter, James, John. Boom, yes. boom, 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 yeah. except for John. Yes, except for John. They're all yeah. killed, yeah. one generation. Yeah. Now you got popes. You got Constantine who starts. He looks and goes, these are some badass people. I want soldiers like this. Let's start. And so he says, a cross. And I'm like, wait a sec. You just killed God on a cross. And now you're taking it and you're going to start a church and a movement. No, wait, 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 wait. wait. How did the Christian, you're, what are you saying? Okay. You're, you're, you're jumping around here a little bit. Well, okay? No, I'm just going forward so in time. So don't forget that Jesus Christ himself told us to pick up our crosses and follow him. That's fine. Okay, don't, don't, forget, okay. don't forget that at uh, first. No, right? I agree with you. And the church, the cross is one, is a, as you're aware, a Roman punishment that is also one of the earliest signs of Christianity, right? Okay. Now, when you get to Constantine, no or, 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 the, or, the, or the the Cairo, yeah, with, 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 the, with the fish, yeah, yeah, but wherever I'm, I'm I have you, right? Guy. Okay, awesome. Now, when you say, well, even though the Ankh in, in Egypt, for example, the, like, like the, the, the cross of yeah. Ra. Yeah, okay. See, I'm more what? than that. I think he told Noah. I think he told Abraham. I okay. think everybody knew about the Messiah that, from the beginning of Adam to everybody. So I'm, that, I'm the, I'm, that's how I get You can hold that if you'd like. Um, and have fun justifying it from the Bible if you want. That, that, that's fine, well, right? No, I have fun unjustifying it because if God's talking face to face with Moses, right. Noah, then He's doing more than He's doing. Then with us. He, He'll tell them the exact same thing every single time. Of course, there's only one. There's you tell Wait. the same thing to everybody. We begin. Uh, David, David, David. Yeah. You would tell everybody in the history of the world. There's one way. There's one salvation. Yes. There's one name. That's under a, heaven. There's one. That's so, a yes, doctrine, of you would, right? You're doing that. Now, that's a doctrine. Right, but why but, would you say that? that God Abraham gives progressive revelation. We learn more about God as time goes on. So, for example, Isaiah would have known more about God than Moses did because Isaiah has the deposits of what Moses gave and his own revelation so, so, from God. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is why I'm confused because okay. I don't understand your, so, your notion so, okay. of a prophet. Number when, one. When God's talking to no, somebody, number one, he's talking no. to them. Yeah, but don't forget, right? God isn't just like blabbering to them and just telling them everything about everything. God speaks with purpose. 
So what God wants them to know at the time, or what mission He wants them to fulfill at the time, is He will give them want, those details. David wants them to know, which is there is only Christ is the way. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. They they would all have to know that because they're all going to die and not have a shot unless that no, guy, unless no. Christ show, That's unless Messiah only, shows up. Wait, okay. right? So don't forget that in the time of the Old Testament, the way in which you attained salvation was from the law. No, they didn't get salvation. That's what Paul did. It's like they, no. They, they, no, the sorry. the law. So Paul talks about the law being a curse, right? In that, if you attempt to attain salvation strictly by following the law, no man can hold it perfectly except Christ, which emphasizes the reason why Christ had to come. No, Christ, I right? agree. I agree. So Moses, for example, could have attained salvation in his time by following strictly to the law. Okay. But now in the but, New Testament, but, 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 which is but, but, better than the old, the lie is all based on Christ. The lamb, slay a lamb, put the blood on the lamb. Those lentil. are called typologies, right? So, so there it's a are very there tight are typologies. Right? Ex exactly right. This there, is there my are problem with the Jews. There are hints. Is, I, I know, I know. What I know. do you do with a sacrificed lamb? I'm aware. I'm aware. There are hints of Christ all the way back from Genesis. Yeah, yeah. I, right? I think it's more. I think it's blatant. That's just what I'm saying. I think if you know this today yep. and are telling everybody the way, the truth, and the light, then every prophet in the beginning of time says, look, the Messiah is coming 2,000 years from now. But the Messiah the saved the same way. Well, only Moses was the first to be told about the prophet like him who would arise. Right? Well, that's the first we so, know. So Abraham I, was, 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 was... Common sense goes, uh, you're telling me Abraham walks and talks. Abraham gets a commandment to kill Isaac. Yep. And, and that, and he's just like, I mean, he sounds, he sounds no, crazy. No, I no, mean, no. I, 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 would say, sounds I, I would say, that, I, I would say that what you, what you actually see there isn't him sounding like a jihadi, but it's him actually having faith in God. Because if he didn't have faith in God, he wouldn't have done what he did. No, I, I absolutely do. So yeah. This is my problem is I don't disagree so with anything. So if he had no faith in God, he would never have gone up the mountain. He would do what? He would not have gone up the mountain. Agreed. Yeah. Where was the mountain? Hmm? Saudi Arabia? Where, where do you put the... Well, not, not quite Saudi Arabia, a lot like so, somewhere... I, you, I mean, we're, I don't know if you care so, or not. So some people might... I think, I think there's a, some kind of um, justification to say it was Sinai, but I'm not entirely sure. But it wasn't. Yeah, I think, I think it was outside. There, the, he had to yeah. he had to flee Egypt because they were a world power. So he had to get out of there. So if he went across the, are you a Reed Sea guy or a Red Sea guy? Did he cross the Red Sea or the Reed Sea? Not sure. Okay. Not sure. Um, I don't. I'm in. Yeah. I don't. I don't know either. I, I, okay. I, I live. I live in in, in Palestine right now. It, okay. Not Palestine. West Bank. In, you live there currently. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I came over from, So I'm, I'm, I'm serious about this Bible stuff. I'm okay. not just messing with, And I don't have an agenda. I'm just giving you that as a gift. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I, th I think you were showing sure something. That's, you did. If, you, if you'll say, hey, this is Dave on that website, somebody in America is doing it. All right. See if you agree with it. Just give me a feedback on it. That's all I'm asking you. All right. Fine. Fine. And Don't then what? You, you have a, a version here for, for our brothers. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And all it's, righty. It's called uh, the blood of Abraham dot info. It's okay. basically it, it, there's only one thing: stop killing each other. I don't have a, I don't have a church. I don't, I don't make money out. It's just like you know, we got to stop killing each other because okay, that's that's what that. Is. But now, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, What's right? It? Sure, we have to stop killing each other, right? Great. What's gonna guarantee this? We all have to give our lives to Christ. What? The Christians. We do, all have to have the a Jews oneness of, a, of the same religion. And how do you make it palatable to these Wait guys? a minute, wait a minute. We wait both a minute. agree. Only through Christ. Okay. But Isa is a powerful. Look, if there's one word change in the Quran, they could go. What I'm saying is, how do you get them to have enough of the Spirit? But, okay. But somehow you have enough of the Holy Ghost that you and I, everything you've said, I'm like, I agree with 90%. I'm like, and you and I would sit down and have coffee and okay. agree with all of it. So I'm like, I get it. I just want to confirm, right, that you are, you are admitting that it is important that we all come to Christ. Not that we form some kind of Abraham Accords. Well, well, well no, no, no. It, it, when I say, again, you have to come on my turf for a minute. So when I say, let, let me come understand. to Christ, let me understand. if you're saying historic Catholic Jesus, if you're talking about Mashiach or, or, or Yeshua, who was born in Bethlehem, preached in the temple in Jerusalem, was a Jew who went to uh, temple on Shabbat, not a Christian who went to church on Sunday. Then I go. Christ okay. established the church. What's that? Christ established the church. Well, I'm good, but unless you're a Seventh Day Adventist, then you're going to have to go Shabbat, whichever day, pick a holy day and keep it. I don't know. I'm not going to argue about that. I'm, I'm going to agree with you on yes. You have. 
if you're a Muslim or a Jew, you have a problem with death. You don't have a Messiah. You don't have a Savior. Okay. How are you going to overcome death? Okay. You got to go take care of death. Well, I'm okay. saying to soften a little and go, look, it's still saying, well, right, right, right. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we got the. If you don't believe in an anointed Messiah, in a Yeshua Hamashiach, like the problem have, is you, you don't have a the, you don't the, have an answer for death and you don't the, have an answer for hell. The Muslims for, no. uh, call call Yeshua Isa bin Maryam, right, uh, or, or the Messiah, right? Uh, yeah, or, uh, yeah so they, they believe that he's a Messiah, but they don't know what a Messiah is. That's what I'm saying. We, we have to go. So so before we start saying here, I'm going to jam two thousand years of Christianity down your throat. Can't we, as those who believe in the Messiah, go hey? Uh, there are good people and bad people. Like it, it got passed down, and the Bible's a gorgeous, wonderful book. Read that one. I'll read your Quran because I bet you're reading enough of it to know what you're talking about. I can read it and go, okay, 99% I can agree. Like, if you don't eat ham sandwiches, don't eat ham sandwiches. I'm not going to kill you over it. But if you're going to take the Hadith and this future, this stuff that came out after the Quran, which is extra. Quranical, canonical Quran. It's yep. like, that's just harsh. Like, why do you have to take that and you don't have to take what Moses said and what Isa said? Because it's been corrupted, apparently. Yeah, well. Prove so it to me and they can't. Well, yep. well, that's the problem. And then yep. they're going to use the different versions that I came at you with. Yep. And then I'm going to go with them and go, hey, look, you don't have an original text either. Oh, and by the way, he was he was illiterate. So you know damn well he didn't write anything. By your own words, he didn't write it. So if his scribe went, eh, I don't like that. Let's change Isa. Not the Son of God to, I mean, you said the Son of God to not, I mean, it's, it's probably one little tiny la. Yeah. In, 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 in Arabic, it's one little letter that goes, wait, guys. But if you have an innocent, if you have a people who believe in peace, you will at least take a text. I mean, there's guys articulate, that are as articulate as you to go, hey, look, soften a little bit and don't try to jam all of Christianity or all of you, because because there's a bad track record, including with Hitler, where I go, okay, because guys like you don't believe in half that crap, and neither do I. But I do sorry, believe in, in, in half what? Sorry, in well, half what? Half with, uh, a Catholic, a Catholic history. I can take you through all the popes and all the history of okay. the Christian crusades so or whatever. Go, I, I'm I don't not a, eat all that. I'm not a Catholic. I don't have an issue with the Crusades as a concept. I have an issue with their some of the actions of the Crusaders. Well, the Crusades are very okay. important because without them, okay, oh boy, okay, but I'm, but you don't want to live in a already, world yeah, where, you, now you're 700 where, where years Muhammad into is, is your uh, example. You want to go on that. Seven, you're 700 years in it by now, right? Like you're, you're into it a long way. It's where you go. And if you actually take a candle with Christianity, you can't, you can't, you can't gaslight them any more than we like getting gaslighted by them. We have to go. So, look, are, are you implying? Okay. Going on. So, you're, you're you're saying I can't make a moral argument for why Islam is not the truth when we have Christian history where people have claimed to be Christian I say and have a, done yes. actions. Ah, what's up? What's up? You just hanging around here? You going? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Be, be a second. I'm saying it's 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 a it's a hurdle we don't have to jump. We don't have to jump that hurdle. It's like look. There's, there's good people, there's bad people. Good Muslims, bad people. Good Christians, bad Christians. Let's just take what the teachings are. Because okay. the teachings, why would you, why would you take on this time of year? Why would you take the story that God loved you so much that He came to Earth and suffered, was tortured to death because He loved you to suffer for it, so you don't have to suffer? Is there a more beautiful story? No, like, why I, I would not argue take no. that story. The greatest story ever told is the story of Christ. That's what I'm saying. All the way back from Genesis. How do we do that? All and, the way. And, and yet, the revelation. The world that Muhammad came into yep. was Christianity AD 600. Yep. And it's like, oh my God, I don't think I want to go at him with that. I think I want to go, look, forget that. Just just take the beautiful story now. And let's look at the, beautiful, the, the power of the books. Current Islam. Is is, is is a mess. Okay, they're going to say, well, I have some thing about their, their scriptures. I'm saying about you, and, and, the, and the one that you have is such a beautiful book and such a beautiful story to go look. You don't have to you don't have to swallow the whole thousand. Let, let's drop a thousand years of both of our histories. Okay, can we just come now? That's what the thing. Can we come together and take a neutral guy like Abraham? There was no Christianity. There was no Judaism. There was no Islam. Let's go and say. Should you keep killing each other? If we can start from a, a, a central thing, but let's stop killing each other. For example, if you could take Messiah and go, look, I just want to give you an Udu, a, a washer, that says, okay, take all this out. And say, look, 
It's just a washing. Come get a wash. If you get more of the spirit of Allah, if you're more peaceful, if you have more intelligence in your mind, because I listen to this around here, and it's like, if I have to accept the, 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 the Jesus, if I, if I can take the Messiah and Yeshua, I'm good. But I don't... If I have to take current Judaism with all, this is 600 years old. The walls of ancient Jerusalem are only 600 years old. Maybe I'm hearing this wrong, but it sounds like you're advocating for some kind of Chrislam. Well, I'm saying, and I hope you're not. No, no, I'm saying if you take, we're, we're uh, all if, crossing if, words. I, if, if I may, it sounds like what you're trying to say is. Bring them in with a soft approach where we maintain aspects. Uh, no, I, I'm saying you have to change the, aspects. I'm saying there are aspects. That's why. I keep, okay. That's where you and I so, keep kind of so a little bit. Wait, 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 when you say take a wash and receive more of the spirit of Allah, well, I, right? I ask you. I ask you. What does the spirit? Well, again, when you say Allah. Yes. If I say Allah. Eli. Eli. Then Allah. Then I'm, then I'm Elohim. Gonna, yeah, if they'll take it as what I'm saying is, I came from a weird little cult. Okay. That, or, or to Tom Cruise, or to. Oh, you came from, from John that place. Volta, or from. Is that where you came from? What's that? Uh, no, Zinu. I'm, I'm not even going to uh, say. But I'm saying it's a weird enough one where I look and go, oh God, like okay. please, if I had to take people through the through the avenue I went, I'd go, please don't do that. Okay. And so, if, if we're actually trying to make inroads and say, look, there is this beautiful story about an anointed, anointed Savior who will save you from your sins and from hell, how do you do that? You're going to have to get over some of the tradition of your father. Okay. And I had to get over some of the traditions of mine. Okay. You have to flat ignore a thousand years of Christianity because there's some ugly, ugly, weird shit. I don't happening. think you should. Uh, every, every, every year of Christianity is an important year. I understand. You, you, but, but you can't just take the good things without remembering that there are things that occurred that I were not all. good. And that you have to learn me to from and then move on. I have to be able to I, say that's I never evil. told you to look back. I told you Absolutely. This. I'm going to sit with Martin Luther and go, okay, if okay. you're going to take that last 1500 Years, yep. Me and Martin Luther are going to sit there and nail 95 theses to a door and go, okay. that's horseshit. I don't believe in any of that. Okay, right? because it's not found in the Bible. Well, again, no, that's no, no, Now we're doing, what, we're doing what the Pharisees were doing, right? We're, we're well, setting tradition over the actual teachings of God. Well, I'm going to say, I'm going to assume exact teachings that you say, for example. I mean, here's the one that you and I came up on. Is, so i got to get you. i got a five-hour no question, um, so I'm not trying to be rude. Just, no worries. Um, if we're going to, moving them into a tradition goes, first of all, we have to recognize what our traditions are. And I'm still doing it. That's why I'm enjoying the talk. You're not yelling at me. I'm going, look, I want to hear what a nice, believing Christian fellow, like how you actually see it and what you have to go. Because Muslims do it all the time. They have to go, oh, that's not, but that's not Muslims, Islam, but... Muslims have, have a, so like you mentioned before, you have to like let go of the things of your father's house, right? Like, like Abraham has to destroy the houses of his father's house. Muslims have this problem where... They essentially have to pledge themselves to Muhammad. Yeah. Because it even tells them in the Quran that Muhammad has more rights over the believers than they do their own selves. Yeah. So you're pledging your soul to a dead man. Well, again, okay, but let me stop you. There are so many different kinds of Muslims in this little thing, let alone Shias and Sunnis. They all have to agree on, on that. Political. It's like, eh, you don't even agree on major, you don't agree on prayer. How many times to pray? You, and besides, you're talking to Jibril, who's going up and bargaining with God over 50 down to five. It's like, look, hold on, hold on with the traditions again, the, the hardcore stuff. I'm like, I don't know that that's. I'm trying to get something that will actually work without making people swallow the traditions of Christ our is fathers. the way. Christ is the way. I know. But again, do you have to call him Christ or can he be Isa? Sorry? Did you have to call him Christ or can he be Isa? If they understand him, you gonna go? No, 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 this is too much fun. But. Whatever helps you, uh, whatever helps you with the person you're talking to. If you're somehow talking to an Arab who's never heard the name Yeshua before or Jesus, and they're familiar with Isa, then fine. But realize as well that by you calling him Isa, you're instantly relating him in their minds to a prophet of Allah only. And, and a slave of Allah who is not God, because in the Quran, apparently, there's a conversation that's going to be had. 
in the future between Allah and Isa about this topic. And I read the, I read the so, Bible every day. So, so, so ju ju just like we, we have it in, like, in like Romans, right? When people are coming into the church from pagan traditions, right? There are certain actions that we might do in the church that might cause them to stumble back Right. Into the pagan traditions, you, and you that Isa might do it. Is different than what Tom Cruise calls the body of Christ is, is, is a church. Yeah, but that's different than that, what the that, Seventh that Day Adventists or the to. Jehovah Witnesses or the people uh, who say they believe so in So JWs Jehovah. are not Christians, okay, know, because they don't believe that Christ is God. Say, then there's Muslims here that will, will recognize other groups and say they're not Muslim. I'm saying the words matter. The words like to say maybe if we can say not so harsh on some of these and go. What do you actually mean by it? I mean, if you and I, who believe that a guy was born 2,000 years ago, to whom we will not resurrect, we, we cannot overcome death or hell without him, mm -hmm. if you and I can't come to a speaking point on or you and the then, then I, I I'm, I'm just saying your, your evangelistic efforts needs to be needs to be like direct in that you're making sure that you're not giving too much leeway but, to whoever you're talking to. But my directness is not, this is where I don't think I think it takes bigger minds than, than mine, but maybe yours, to go, it has to be where you're not saying, hey, I'm going to bring up a name with all kinds of baggage on it, an English name, Jesus. It's actually taken from a Greek name, uh, Jesus Christos, yeah, Isos. Isos Christos, and then that's taken from, blah, 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 and it's from thousands people, yeah? of years, and, and then Jews, by the way, I have to worship your that, but those walls are all out of the Magnificent built that 600 years ago. It's not really the old walls of Jews from the only 600 years ago. And there's a lot of stuff here that we have to, un we shouldn't have to unpack to talk to each other peacefully and say, hey, look. Let, it depends how steep the individual is in the tradition. Well, yeah, depends. And because I, don't, I don't forget, um, down here uh, Paul had to, in Acts, Paul had to go and argue uh, with, with, with the, the sophists uh, and, and the, uh, the Stoics in, in Athens. And he right? had to argue with Peter. Yeah, well, well he, he, no, he didn't argue with Peter. The two of them had a disagreement, but then they came together amicably and resolved them. And the reason why I think this is special compared to other religions, right, is because if you look, for example, at the Sahaba, when they had arguments, they didn't come together uh, uh, um, amicably and the rule of Allah, the spirit of Allah That's came, came there. They started that's, killing themselves. That's when argument stops with John. Exactly. That's where, if, if, where I go, no. And, the, and then every tradition tries to go, and, and then you try to reform it. But can you reform something that's lost? It's the same argument for the Muslims or the Jews. Can you reform something that's lost, or do you have to start going, you have to repent? Do you actually, I mean, there's a gospel of learning more and more and repenting more and more, so that you can actually turn and face the real Yeshua, or mm -hmm. Jehovah, or, Whatever you, whatever is important. We speak English, and Jesus is a Latinized version of of, uh, of the of the Greek. So we can, we can say Christ twice. We can say Jesus Christ. Okay. I can again. I, I prefer to go say Jesus. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.